Hi, Dr. Parul, how are you doing? Good, Pallavi, how are you? Good, good, I'm doing great. Uh, so tell us about this book that you decided to publish by your brother. So this book uh, is actually a series of blogs that my brother had penned when uh, he was fighting the last stages of oral cancer. He is my younger and only brother, and he was 34 when he passed away this past March in 2021. And this was one of his last wishes. Um, we talked about publishing and he would say, you know, why are you rushing this? Uh, we've got time. So um, this was one of his last wishes. He wanted his word out uh, about um, how he felt during his last stages um, where he was very much at peace and calm. Uh, he passed away of oral cancer within a year and a half of diagnosis. When you say peace and calm, I mean, it's not a general term well, that we usually have <laughs> attached no, to cancer. Then. He was very brave. He was a fighter. He fought for everything and even with cancer. He was diagnosed in June of 2019. He had a major surgery where half his tongue was removed and resected and um, a graft was placed in and he recovered. He was back at work. He was a dentist in Canada. But the cancer reappeared in April of 2020, just right around the time when COVID was starting. And, uh, you know, he saw another lesion came back uh, later on in the year and it was determined it was metastatic towards the end of 2020. And prior to diagnosis of being metastatic cancer, he, um, had sold his practice. He had decided um, that he's going to just quit dentistry. He's going to live life to the fullest. He bought a Porsche. He would, you know, go out kayaking. He was with friends. He was the happiest he was until the cancer became metastatic. So when that happened, he, uh, once the diagnosis was that, he had just kind of come to terms and he has, he was at peace with what his life had in store for him. He wasn't angry that he was cut short or he wasn't angry about the diagnosis or late diagnosis, why him and why not somebody else and that he had a bucket list of things to do. He was just at peace knowing that this is what's in store and his way of expressing himself was through his words. He just didn't talk much. It hurt to speak towards his last stages. So he would write, he was mentally completely okay. And he would do a lot of readings, a lot of soul searching. And that's kind of what the book is about. It's about, you know, not keeping up with um, the Joneses and getting the latest technology, the coolest car, the biggest house. It's about learning about inner peace, about family, about listening to your parents, about finding that thing that makes you happy. It may not bring you a lot of money, but doing what your calling is. and. That's kind of what he wanted to depict, that the world could be falling apart and you could still weather through the storm and be true to yourself and be at peace with it all. You have an emotional attachment, obviously, to this book, but of what course. do you want uh, the readers, the common people to take away from this book? This book is also a testament to Manu and my parents. It's what I want people to get from this book is that you know, life doesn't go as you plan. Things don't happen, there are curveballs. And, you know, if you kind of work your way through it and just stay calm and not worry about everybody else around you, and you could lose everything. And, but still, if you have your family, you have your close friends, you have the people that really matter to you, you can come through. And also I detail a little bit about how he had late diagnosis and also to make awareness to the dentists and, and our um, cancer in, you know, uh, communities that early diagnosis is key and learning the signs and symptoms. When is the book coming out? The book should be, in, it's in the final edit stage, should be out July, mid-July. Um, and it will be available on Amazon. It's called Life Interrupted and it's by him. And um, that's his legacy. That's what he leaves behind, his words. What is the message that you would tell your brother looking at you today, knowing that you are publishing his book? My dearest Manu, then I carried you in my arms. Now I carry you in my heart. You're done fighting. Now rest, little brother. Your fight may be over, but not your journey. You will continue to live through your words. And in my next life, may I be so privileged to call you my brother again. Till we meet next time, love your Didi.